Well, it tells us we're going to have a volatile market for the unforeseeable future. There's so much going on in the event risk that every day is going to be, depending on what the president tweets, depending on what headline comes out, depending on what the yield curve is doing, depending on what's going on with the China situation and the trade war. So uh, we're going to have volatility. It's here to stay. The question is, how do you navigate through these markets? So how do you navigate through these markets, John? I mean, how would you cancel, counsel investors right now? Well, we're telling our clients and we're seeing a lot of people start to look for, right now, it's important that, number one, you're invested in the markets. You just don't shy away because you're scared of the volatility. Number two, I think you have to be an active manager to be able to navigate through the volatility that is clearly here. It's a stock picker's market. You can't just blindly pick the entire market because there's going to be some gems out there that you have to have professionals look at. So I think it's very, very careful, but you have to be invested and you have to look for people that are good risk managers. And that's been very successful for us in the last you know, couple of years. Our liquid alts is something that has been very, very attractive to our customers. And they've been buying products like our market neutral, which just became this month the largest liquid oil fund in the world at almost eight and a half billion dollars, where it does not concentrate yeah. on what happens with interest rates. So it's neutral for that. It's a convertible arbitrage fund and it sells uh, options to get some yield. So no matter if yeah. the interest rates go up or down, it gives you a consistent return. Just to be clear, liquid alt is uh, alternative investment strategies in a, a liquid kind of mutual fund uh, platform. Steve, um, we just talked about how the market seems like it's it's following yields around by the nose. On the right. other hand, lower yields should be supportive of stock valuations. I mean, it's kind of a push pull. It depends uh, on right how, what backdrop they they happen in. So, if the lower yields are happening in a slower growth environment or a zero rate environment then the market is spooked for all the obvious reasons. But today on a, on a microcosm of it and a granularity, you had oil just pop from yes. one o'clock, popped about 2%. Then you have yields rally as well. So you're watching on the equity market kind of follow those two um, into the close and let's see how long it lasts. Yeah. So John, if, if as an investor, you're concerned about trade tensions and all of the uncertainty this is creating, you know, from a global macroeconomic standpoint, why are the small caps once again underperforming today? I realize financials are a big part of the weighting there. Is, is that what's driving that, or is there an opportunity to be had in all the weakness we have seen? We feel that small caps is an opportunity to buy. In the long run, during these types of market conditions, they should be insulated from the global, especially some of the domestic small caps, the global trade wars that are happening. So if you can pick a good mid-sized uh, company that's not necessarily global in nature in terms of their trading abilities, then you should be able to perform pretty well. And if you look over the time, they have done really well. You can't just take a day or a week, but over the long term, they will perform during these volatile markets, during the global type of volatility that we're seeing.